Welcome back to Cornwall. Um, today I want to talk about uh, scanning negatives, scanning images. I've always used a scan. I've always scanned myself. I've always um, certain negatives to be developed if they're colour. I do a bit of black and white myself, um, but normally I would get the negatives back and I would scan myself. And it's always been quite a painful process, a painful experience. Uh, I've always used an Epsom uh, V600, standard sort of negative scanner, um, but it's just so slow and the software is is awful. The software is not particularly user friendly. Um, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's just a bit dated. I don't think they've actually updated the software for years. It's just, it's just been, always been a really painful experience. Um, I would also get these weird uh, purple lines going through the image. Googled, couldn't find the answer, <laughs> but I've get these lines all the time. I'll show you on this, uh, on these images here. So you can see. This, uh, this kind of purpley line going through the whole image. Um, the whole image. I never, I could never work out what it was. Uh, but it happened quite a lot, surprisingly, a lot. Even on black and white images, you'd get this purple sort of line going through the shot. Uh, which is um, which is not good, uh, and I've always just photoshopped the the, the line out um, and just gone with it. Uh, but it's never really been a fun process scanning images. Um, I didn't really like the way it it the V six hundred uh, dealt with grain either. It just don't know. It makes the it, it makes the grain. If it makes sense, even grainier, uh, which I which I didn't really. I mean, yeah, of course, I love grain, but it's just don't know the whole image. The whole process of scanning images was a was a not very enjoyable experience, and I don't think the results were that good. Um, so what I've started doing recently is photographing my negatives. I've got myself a. Uh, one of these bad boys, basically, a uh, a light pad. I think they go under the name of. And I put the negatives on, and I take a photo, and the results are great. Surprisingly, the results are really good, and the process is quick, really quick. Um, I normally tether it into my computer, so as I'm shooting, it just appears in Lightroom. Uh, I'm shooting on a EOSR, so I'm getting a 30, whatever the EOSR is, 32 megapixel uh, image, raw image, and it's just, it's just quick and really easy, and you can go through a roll in literally minutes. Um, yeah, it's um, it's certainly made scanning a bit more enjoyable and. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's taken the pain out of it. That's for sure. You have to excuse the setup, but since the uh, the lockdown, I've had to uh, vacate uh, my normal office and uh, bring everything home. So this is a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of an odd setup here. Uh, but as you can see, the camera is on a tripod, looking down at the pad. Scallop the uh, negatives are there. Take one shot, and it appears on the computer. Simple as that. Uh, and there we have it, it appears on the screen. Um, so what I tend to do now is, uh, my workflow for this is to straighten it up, um, because it's just opened in straight into Lightroom, I have all the uh, Lightroom controls, which is nice, takes out uh, another step, uh, make it quicker. Uh, what I tend to do, first of all, is white balance off the edge of the film. This is a black and white image, but you get the idea. So this is 
my rough sort of image. It's not very straight, but we'll deal with that later. And then what I do is open Negative Lab Pro, uh, which is a way of converting the negatives. It's just a quick and easy way of converting the negatives. So I make sure I'm set to black and white, and I convert the negative. And what we get is that. So Negative Pro, Negative Lab Pro, you get some settings in here, brightness, contrast, if it was a colour image uh, you can adjust colours of the scan, uh, of the, not even the scan, of the shot. And basically it gives me the, within Lightroom I get all my controls. Uh, I don't know why that was so wonky when I took it. Let's have a look. That's not bad. Let's straighten that up. Straighten that up a bit. That's looking slightly better. A uh, bit of contrast. This was uh, HP5 on a Mamiya RB67. And um, there's not a lot else to say really. It's just quick and easy. And you can go through a roll of film pretty quick. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, in terms of workflow, it's, uh, it's amazing. Let me know what you think.